welcome friends to muskrat links today we have a very special video i think you all are really going to enjoy this one and honestly i'm a little nervous about this video i feel the weight the pressure of this video more than i felt on any video we filmed before more than the state amateur championship more than trying to recreate the hole in one on a par four usually i feel like i have to entertain you i have to make you guys laugh i have to show you something fun and enjoyable and today we're going to be doing that but also we're gonna be trying to preserve one of New Hampshire's oldest golf courses. I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride with me on what could be the last time we ever play Bethlehem Country Club. Let's go. We've got a little bit of rain out here today. Hopefully that's gonna make for a decent drive and not a lot of golfers on the course. It is almost peak foliage time here in New Hampshire, so it's going to be absolutely beautiful out there today. I cannot wait to get on the road, so let's head up there. As I just mentioned, this might be the most important video I've ever released. Being one of the biggest golf channels in New England, I feel that it's my responsibility to showcase and share with all of you some of the most beautiful and historic golf courses in the world. You literally can't get this anywhere else. This is another Muskrat Links golf exclusive, so please make sure you click that subscribe button for me. We are almost at 5k subs, and I've got that big surprise coming for those of you who are founders of the channel and have commented on videos previously to help build our community. Now, the oldest golf courses in America are right here in New England. In fact, the oldest is Dorset Field Club, located just across the border from me in Vermont. There are only a handful of golf courses still in operation today that were founded in the late 1800s, and Bethlehem Country Club is one of them. I've played it many times in the past as my dad grew up here, and it's a special place for my family. Bethlehem just celebrated its 125 year anniversary, but unfortunately it's going to close at the end of the season because operating costs are just too high. I spoke to Kim, the owner, and it was a heartbreaking decision for her to make having sunk so much of her time and money into trying to keep Bethlehem open. Thank you Kim for all you've done for this piece of golf history, and I hope that someday BCC might be able to reopen. Today, my mission is to share this beautiful Donald Ross course with the world and preserve it for future generations. Who knows, I might even recreate this course in TGC 2019 so we can play it on the sim. I've been known to do that to close New Hampshire golf courses, but today, let's enjoy it together one last time. Guys, I just, I just saw something at the very back of this mailbox. There's a note. Keep them straight. We will try, we will try. Who does this guy think he is? Bruh. Why is there a helicopter in Bethlehem? I know, what are you doing? There's nothing here. What are you looking for? Bears? <laughs> yeah, they're looking for like animal migrations or something. Out of, out of season poachers or something? <laughs> I mean, I think everything's in season right now. What is it, October? Sure. Something October? October 2nd or something, I think. I think, uh, no, no, I don't think uh, rifle season is in yet. I think it might be, it's going from like archery to muzzle loader <laughs> or something. I don't think you can actually hunt with rifle at this moment. I think that's later. Like, well, I hope, like November. hope they find whatever they're looking for. Yeah. Please consult your local fishing team <laughs> for accurate results. This is not an official fishing game report for the state of New Hampshire. This is true. Yeah. Well, here we are, everybody. We've made it to Bethlehem Country Club. Hope you guys enjoyed that little intro and some nice scenery here. So, because we are at one of the oldest courses in New Hampshire today, I'm really excited to document it for you guys. We're gonna start off with some of the oldest clubs my dad could find. So, show them what we got, Pops. Well, if we're gonna play one of the oldest courses in the state, we might as well use some of the oldest clubs I could find in my basement. Absolutely. So we're gonna play this first hole with a couple of old junkie clubs and uh, see if we can't you know, have a kind of a throwback tribute to the days of gone for a Bethlehem Country Club. Let's do it. First hole, 430 yard par four, let's go. Yeah, par four, usually like driver pitching wedge, uh, but today with this driver and I got a little junkie six iron, that's probably gonna be the play to see if we can get home with these two particular clubs. So here we go. All right, you're up. These grips are like made of silicone. There's like no <laughs> gripping power in it at all. I gotta at least hold on to this so you can use it later. In <laughs> the a club minute. went further than the ball. It might. He's heading right. Hang on, buddy. It's fairway. It's the second fairway, but it's fairway. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, good luck with this, pal. Yeah, thank you. Oh my I God. Thing. This thing is so hard to hold on to. I feel like I needed some other gloves. This just makes it even more slippery. All right, here we go. Oh, it's pure. That's a lot better than mine. Almost took out the camera too. Hit some trees. Oh, hit the tree kick right back in the center of the fairway. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Let's go. 80 yards away from each other. <laughs> yeah, cart golf. They're probably around the same distance. <laughs> Save it for the other video, but 
HX Tour 56. Let's go. So just for the viewers' edification, it's about 49 degrees here in That's Bethlehem, cool. New Hampshire. And it's not a beer day, it's a hot coffee day. So <laughs> just so you know what we're dealing with. We've got clubs from the 1940s with slippery grips <laughs> and frozen hands. Uh, no problem. No problem. Easy. That's I, New Hampshire I, golf. Yeah. I, what I got about 210? Oh, easily. I got 230 to go with this junky six iron. I got to show you that six iron in a minute. But, yeah. Uh, now you're yeah, hitting that I wood again. I may not be able to, I may hit that driver again. For that sure. Might, that might be the play. Today's driver is, you know, 9, 10 degrees. These are all at 12 and 13 back in the day, so I could get this thing off the deck. I think so. I, Let me warm my hands up. <laughs> I, can, I can do this. It's basically a three wood. Come on. I need some glue or something to hold on to this. Some gorilla glue. All right. Let's see if we can just get it airborne. It doesn't look like 12 degrees. It looks like about four degrees right now. <laughs> She's running. Hey, you know, it's down there. What do you got, about uh, 210, 220? Yeah, something like that. It's definitely not gonna be six iron. We're gonna try this guy again, see if we can do a little better than Dad did getting him off the ground. I think I did pretty well hitting that thing off the ground. It wasn't bad. There's no screws on this thing, and I really have to hit it on the screws here, so. Yeah. <laughs> can we? A, it is what it is. Can we put screws in it? Is that legal? Absolutely, you could drill holes in it. <laughs> This, this club is like the Windows 3.1 <laughs> of wooden drivers. As long as it's not the Windows 8, I don't want that club. No. Oh, keep oh, coming back. Get it down there. Come on back. Run, baby. Just up there next to the bunker. Yeah. Decent. Good sweeping shot. Decent. Yeah. All right, tell us about the, uh, the other club we got here. Well, equally slick old leather grip. <laughs> It says right on it, depending on, you could use it as a nine or a six, you know, <laughs> everything. Say. But can you imagine a day when the manufacturers came out with steel shafted clubs and the public had such little trust in it that they had to paint them brown to look <laughs> like wood? Can you imagine? That is brutal. People said, no, we like our traditional wood. That steel shaft is garbage. Get rid of that new technology. Well, this looks like it's a six. Probably. It does have grooves. Yeah. It does say... What's that, Walter Hagen? What does that say right there? Yeah, Walter Hagen, like CRCWN or Crown, maybe CROWN. Walter Hagen, I'm not kidding you, Kai. You should look this up. I think he owns the course record at Bethlehem. You serious? I'm not kidding. He did come up and play back in the day. You're gonna have to look that one I'll up. I'll figure it out. Yeah, so well, I imagine this would just go in the hole then for a birdie. Surely, how could it not? Uh, 100, so 105 with a 1942 Six-ish iron. <laughs> Not really sure what the loft is. Come on, baby. Oh. Be good. A little long. Good shot, though. A little long. I mean, for a six iron from 110, to only be 10 feet off the bat. I'm happy with that. I've got to tell you something. It actually felt pretty good. It sounded pretty Still pure. A little, a little punchy. I mean, the balls back then were like made of butter. Like there used to be a metal ring you'd carry with you to make sure your ball was still round <laughs> after playing a few holes with it. That's how bad the balls were back then, but they were pretty soft. Got our two clubs? Yeah, the putter isn't as old. <laughs> it's pretty beat. Uh, that isn't a cushion original. Some people do collect these. The cobwebs are very important. I don't know if oh, you get yeah. that or not. Oh, yeah. And it's beat. It looks like a dog chewed on this one. <laughs> and it does have, you know, the traditional super slick leather grips. Perfect. So it probably is the most useful club. Yeah, look at that face. It's totally chewed. There's not a flat surface on this thing. <laughs> oh, we got to mill that thing down. That is brutal. It might even have been made for lefties. I don't know. Maybe a lefty was using it. You know, I played pretty well when I used your old clubs from high school at St. Andrews on the simulator. So I'm hoping I can do about the same here and maybe see if I can get this up and down for par. Uh -oh, so Hit the stick. Oh, it was juiced. Uh, you may hold on to that six iron. Yeah, you know, I'll just go again. <laughs> I'll take the putter. Well, that chip came out pretty hot. Let's uh, let's cut that in half and see if we can get this one close. Go, buddy, go. Yeah, we do. Oh, it's tough. It's winter rules. Did you hear about the Corn Ferry Pro who illegally lift cleaned and replaced last week? And, did. and he co it cost himself It cost him card. his tour card. He went That's from awful. 30th to 32nd. That's awful. That's brutal. Shout out Shad Tootin. I hope you're doing okay, buddy. I think it's thicker and rougher than you think. You, you came up short. I'm going to have to hammer this one. Decent. 
decent. That's yeah. that strange feel coming off. I can barely feel it. You still clocked it. I know. Still came up short. This is indeed for bogey. Just want to see if I can get this close. Maybe I can scare the hole. Where's the break? There's no break. <laughs> what the heck? I saw right to left. It's as straight as an arrow. All right, by. let me see if I can finish this. Oh, never a doubt. <laughs> In for double. So this is for the win. To the win the hole. Sweet. There's, oh. there's no break. What are you playing break for? I wasn't for? playing a break. <laughs> didn't hit it right. This is terrible. <laughs> Enough of these old time clubs. We celebrated the age, the golden age of this course. Now it's time to celebrate 2023 back to our regular course. <laughs> Let's go. All right, hole two, 325 yard par four. Pretty much straight, a little bit uphill. I've got the Epic Max LS back in. Good to be back in this century for clubs, but obviously you guys can tell we're not really keeping score today. We're out here to have fun and bring this course to you, share something really special, some fall New Hampshire golf. So let's rip away, see what we can do. Useful. Just a little bit off the toe, straight down the pipe. Nice, we'll take it. Everything kicking left, so we'll aim up a little bit to the right here. We got about 95 yards, so I got a 58. Decent. Oh, that's beauty. Get in the hole. Oh. Yeah, it is a little short. Beautiful. All right, great shot. Nicely done. Of course, might actually close for good, but we're still putting back our divot. I will put back every divot I find. All right, we got about 35, 40 feet here for birdie. Ton of break in this. Just want to see if we can leave ourselves a tap in. That's a good roll. I will take that every day of the week. See if we can clean her up real quick for par. I've been known to miss these, but we convert today. All right, off the hole number three, let's go. Next hole here, 235 yard par three here. Dad, you remember this one from high school? Oh, I remember it all the time. We didn't usually play from the tips, but we just landed it 20 yards short of the green. You know, it just bounced down. Obviously the road behind it is punitive. So you do not want to go over. So you always hit this 20 yards short let it roll out, and it just seemed to work all the time. Beautiful. We'll record Dad's shot here just in case we ace it. Otherwise, we won't see you again. <laughs> hey, there's another par three. A little right. Way more room right than left, for sure. True. Don't want to go on that road. All right, I got nine wood. Wind picks up a little bit here. Probably can't reach, but like I said, just want to try to land it 20 yards short, so. All right, here we go. High and a little bit right. Just the right edge of the green. Oh, perfect. Just short right, I think it's just on the fringe. All right, good shot. That was pretty well struck nine, I'll take that. All right, through the wind here. Long birdie putt again. See if we can get this one as close as we got the last putt, I will be happy. A little bit downhill as well here. I was putting to you, right? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, just right over that old hole mark and I think we'll be good. It's over the mark, but not enough gas. All right, finish her up. And we are out of here with a bogey. Could have done a little better chipping on that one, or putting. Should have chipped it, really. It is one of the longest par threes, though, around. I mean, how many par threes you play on the 233? That's true. I mean, even though it was downhill and not a lot of hazards, but still, you don't normally play on 233s in New Hampshire. True. I also don't normally three putt. Oh, wait, yes, I do. Yeah, you do. No, sometimes you four putt. <laughs> yeah, unless it's a four putt. All right, next hole we've got here is a 275 yard par four. This is definitely reachable. We might take a few cracks at this one with a driver just to see if we can get something up there. Maybe get an ego look going for you guys. That'd be fun. All right, let's go. None of us could drive this hole, even in high school. Even when the other teams came here, they couldn't drive this just because of the clubs and the balls at the time. But there were a couple of big hitters that you, know, you would hear, hey, did you hear about so-and-so? He drove it over the fourth. Like, get out of here. He did not. He did. And all we did was hit it out of bounds over to the, <laughs> to the right where the road is. And of course, every public road in golf is out of bounds. And that's where we'd always go. So that's probably where I'm going today. <laughs> Good luck. Got all of it. Didn't over the road. Over the road? It's over the road. Shocker. <laughs> Good thing we waited for the truck. Oh, just like old times. Well, we'll see if I can keep one on this side of the uh, the road here and maybe get something running up close to the green. 
better. Heading up towards the bunker. You carried the bunker on the left. It did. It went left of the bunker. All right, let's go find those. Oh my goodness. That's over the green. There you go. But still in play. Now I'm that guy who drove it over this fourth green. It's me. Well, we are just about in play. There's a white out of bounds stake here, and then we've got a wall here. There's no more stake, so there's our boundary. We're good to go. See if we can get this on the green. Trees ate that up a little. A little bit. But we hit the green. Green in regulation. Where's the run out on that one? What the heck? The last green was lightning. Oh, this one's in the woods, the other one's in the sun. Oh my goodness. You have to be observant. All right, well, we got a putt at par. Let's see if we can make this one count. I think left edge here. See if I start this just at the left edge. Perfect. All right, that feels good. I haven't rolled in a putt in a little while, so nice little par here on the short par four. Let's head out to hole number five. So here we are on the fifth hole. This was always a great long drive hole. And the most fun about this hole is, if you look down here, you've got an entire fairway to the left, the 11th hole. You've got an entire fairway to the right, the sixth hole. There's no possible way you can hit this drive out of play. There's no hazards, no out of bounds anywhere near. You'd have to hit it 370 to get into those woods. So you just tee it up here and swing as hard as you possibly can with no repercussions. Well, let's do it today. It's every golfer's dream. Except the health repercussions, of course. Yes. <laughs> with that information, we will go with the long drive swing on this one. We're gonna swing up at this one, that's for sure. See if we can absolutely rope it. Heading up the left side. Pretty straight. Get plenty of it. Yeah, just in between those trees up there. All right, we got about 112 yards left. I think I'm gonna do 54 degree. See if we can float it up there. You see dad's pink ball just in front of the green, so. That's about where I'm aiming. Needs to go a little. Short right. Oh, I just crept off the right side. All right, that's not bad. Every four feet, it's either going up or down. Little moguls. Yes, the moguls, moguls are the best everywhere. way to put it. You see us bouncing around the cart, that's what it is. Exactly. Yeah, this is, this is, we're just driving on flat land. <laughs> this yeah, is flat. The camera's probably shaking all over the place. This is how you normally drive up and down the fairways. Thank goodness I have stabilization on. <laughs> so that's, that's how, you know, the course became more difficult because not every lie was flat. Yeah. You could be a little down, a little up, a little side, even though it's a pretty flat hole. Speaking of up and downs, let's see what we can do. Yeah. What's he doing? Bruh, he's coming back around for more. The heck's he doing? All right, once you make a birdie for a change. <laughs> I like a tap in par, let's start there. Decent. All right. Let's see if I can finish her. Stupid tap in par. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got blown off, oh my goodness. You got it though, got the par <laughs> Back to back pars, let's keep it rolling. Yeah, a little bit elevated, back to where we came from. All right, see if we can whack it. Nice drive. Beauty. Right down the pipe, baby fade. Nice. It's getting chilly out here, guys. Wind's picking up. Got that crisp autumn day here in New Hampshire. Hope you're enjoying the footage. I'm playing. 30. Yeah, I'm playing about 150. I've got my nine iron, so just see if I can get something up there. It is a two green. You can just throw a pass the hole, and the green will catch it. Yeah. Ouch! That feels great today. That's not the worst result, but I would like to stay down on that one a little more next time. All right, here we are with the approach. We got this big kind of two-tiered green here, pin sitting nicely in the middle. Not quite far enough back that I can use the ridge, so I'm just gonna try to land this a little in front of the first ridge. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice. All right, that's a good chip. Can we tap her in for three pars in a row? Yes, we can. All right, three pars in a row. Starting to feel pretty good, let's go. So 175, downhill. I will tell you, if you can zoom down a little bit, yeah. um, all you have to do is clear that bunker because the back side of the bunker kicks it toward the green. So if you just clear the bunker, it's an okay shot. It'll often run out all the way up. I'm trying to think of the closest I've ever been to a hole in one. 
probably hole 11. We got that coming up. That's probably, I'm sorry, no, hole 10. Hole 10. Uh, probably been about a foot. Whew. But it's a short par five. Uh, <laughs> it's a short par three. Yeah. 99 yards or something. So, you know, you'll be a foot away. I sure hope so. Everybody is. Hold it left. Probably bang on distance, just pulled it left. Yep. No Good problem. job. All right, 175 yards. I've got eight iron. I'm going to play it about 168 or so. See if we can get one on the green. Drifting a little right. Just the right side. Uh, uh, just creeping off that right fringe. Been there a hundred times. <laughs> Seems like a good place to chip from though. Let's see if we can go four pars in a row. Yeah. Absolutely. Now this is definitely chippable inable as they say. Got a little bit of rough here to contend with so it might be a little hairy coming out of here. Kind of interesting rough, but let's see if we can give this one a run. Move a little. Oh, not bad. These little par putts are getting longer and longer each time. But let's see if we can keep converting them. Yes, another one. All right, we're playing some pretty good golf out here today despite the conditions, so let's head to the next hole. Hole number eight here, 317 yard par for dog leg right. You can just see the top of the flag there. We're gonna be back behind this mound for our tee shot, but I wanted to give you guys this angle before we got up to our tee boxes, which are right over here. Let's just see if we can bomb one up, let it fade back maybe a little bit. Cut this corner off. Just heading straight left. Well, good position to be, but still a long ways off. All right, wind at the back here as well. Tree kind of in the way, pin just on the right side of it. I'm gonna flip this one up high and see if we can drop it down. It's high, it's a little right. Good kick. Oh, great kick. Decent, not a bad result. Kept it safe. Really tough chip here, wind at the back. Just have to float this up onto the green and see if I can let it release and keep this par streak alive. Oh no. Oh, it's such a tough chip. Super fast. Well, now we've got some work to do to keep the par streak alive. Not the best chip there. Like I said, it was really tough running away from us. Let's see if we can give this one a chance. Uh, we gave it a chance, but that's the par streak done. Bogey on this hole. Let's head to the next. 292 yard par four here straight away. Wind trying to blow us left OB, so we're trying to blow us right OB, so we'll try to keep it left. Looking good. Just up that side. Perfect. All right, a little off balance, but we kept it low. Let's go. All right, here's the drive over on the left side of the fairway. We've got probably a flyer lie about 60 yards here. Not gonna be able to spin this much, so hopefully we can get this one at least on the green, putting for birdie. Looks decent. I like it. Just a little long. All right, not bad though, we'll take that. You see that leaf go on top of your ball? Yeah, it flipped you right over. Back. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna hit it. Stopping the shot? I didn't think about stopping. I, I saw it there next to I was like, that could move. I was ready for it to move, so. Hit it land right on top of your ball. <laughs> <laughs> right when you're it gained me an extra couple of yards and didn't spin at all, so. There you go. That leaf cost me a hole out. This time, try to keep your, your shot in the frame. As Dad says, let's see if we can keep this one in the frame for you guys here. But it is a putt at birdie. I just wanna go right over that yellow leaf there. I think that'll be a pretty good line. Over the leaf. Oh, and it dove off a little bit. These are the kind of par putts we want though. These ones are unmissable, so tap her in. All right, we're playing pretty well here. We've got a really fun par three coming up here next. I think we're gonna get an angle down by the green. Let's see if we can get our hole in one. All right, as we said, we got the little 100 yard par three up here. We've got two phones down by the green. Hopefully we can at least both hit the green here for you guys. We should be able to, right? All right, let's do it. It's only 105 yards but I'm still going with the old classic six iron that I played on the first hole. If you're gonna get an ace, you might as well do it with this. I respect it. Oh my goodness, go. Hey, good shot though, you gave it a chance with that club. Yeah, I tried to make it work. I've got a 58 degree. Let's see if we can get this one to land on the green. Looks decent, little right. 
a little short. All right, monstrous birdie attempt here. See if we can get another par on the scorecards, get this one close. Go a little, go a little more. All right, it's not terrible, not the greatest putt in the world, but see if we can knock her down for par. I don't see too much in it, maybe a little left to right. Yeah, perfect. All right, good little two putt there on the short par three. Dad actually made his birdie off camera from hitting that six iron, but I didn't record it, so too bad. <laughs> if you can plug those trees to the left out there. Yep. You can get an angle to reach this hole. Okay. Now, if you're not all the way over to the left, you can just hit a fade in there. But if you can, if you can get him amongst those trees, you can have a look at it. A direct line. Yeah, all right. A, a look at it with your nine wood or something like that. It could certainly work. Well, that's what we'll try to do then. Keep it just up that left side. That far enough left? You, Should have about. The good news is you, you may be able to see it, but you're not <laughs> going to have about 485. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of meat left on this bone. I could probably go for it with a driver, but we just let some guys play through. I don't want to hit into them. So we'll take a little nine wood here. See if we can just put it just left of this big pine tree and give ourselves a look in. Left of it, not fading much. Going right for that old stump. Yep, just up there. Good shot, good contact. All right, little flip wedge here. See if we can get this one on the green. Give ourselves another look at birdie. Keep this good round going here. Just gotta get it past the bunker, really. Skid it off right. It is on the green, though. Eh, I can complain a little. Not a lot, though. I don't see too much in this putt, really. I think I'm just gonna go straight at it. A little bit uphill, 35 footer. Let's drain it. I like it. Go a little. Oh, good line, just a hair short. All right, let's finish her up for par. There we go. She's in there. The good golf continues here. On to hole number 12, is it, Pops? 12 up next. Guys, hope you are enjoying the video so far. I'm really happy to be bringing this to you guys and sharing the beautiful Bethlehem Country Club with you guys before it might not be available ever again. And in case you haven't noticed here, we haven't really come back to the clubhouse yet. That is because it is a front 12 and back six here at Bethlehem, which is pretty cool, pretty unique. Again, part of what I wanted to document and share with you guys here, part of the unique experience here at Bethlehem Country Club. So we're on to hole 12 next. Just got to cross the road here, and then we'll hit it back to the golf. Hole 12 is a 160-yard par 3 here, heading up the hill. Really cool green. We'll be able to have some fun down here. Make sure you guys tap that subscribe button. We might be at 5K by now, but if not, make sure you are subscribed. Join the Muskrat Lynx golf team. We've got so much cool stuff coming. I think next week we might even have some competitive golf again. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's dial this one up. You asked me before the closest I ever come to a hole in one on this course, and I told you it was about a foot on 11. No, yeah. I'm sorry, 10, a little past eight. But in retrospect, it was the Golden Moose Tournament. It's like a Littleton Chamber of Commerce or something tournament about 10 years ago. Yeah. And uh, I hit one about seven inches on oh. this hole. We got up there and it was right next to the hole. So wow. I have the closest to the pin trophy for that to this day. But yeah, this was the closest I've ever come to a hole in one. Nice. All right, well, let's try it again. See if we can get inside at eight inches. Today. Let's do it. That was short. A shade short. Shade short. Went right at it. But... All right, from this distance, I got seven iron. Might be just enough to get there, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, it's really well struck, but it's pulled a little left. Hit that rock. Hit the tree. Coming down. <laughs> I think it kicked all the way into the bunker off that tree. It was so far left, it was out of the shot. That's okay. Yeah, it was probably right through me. You guys might not have seen it, but we'll go play it. All right, we've got quite the hill over there as a nice backdrop. So I will try to hit this one a little firm, if anything. Spray it up out of this bunker, see if we can give ourselves a look at par. Not bad, not bad at all. I got some sand in the face, but wish that went a little further. I am gonna try to get this past the hole. Yeah, mine as well. If it goes past the hole, it's just gonna come right back down. Give it a whack. What do I got to lose? Dad for the circus birdie. Oh my gosh, <laughs> just missed. Called the shot though. What a putt, what a Called putt. The shot. 
Well, I got a little bit of left to right here, not too much. I'm gonna go either right over this or just inside of it. Oh, I did not quite enough pace to get it there. All right, that's gonna be a bogey for me. And we'll head to hole number 13. Yep, on to the back six here. Driver in hand, a little downhill par for it. See if we can keep this thing in play. Little draw up the left. Yep, looks good. All right, all right, we're down here kind of buried in this heather. It's uh, less than legal foot pressure there, but hey, don't worry about it. See if we can just get this up and out. Got some trees in the way. Don't think we're gonna be able to get on the green, but you never know. See if we can kind of hook one out of here. We did. Front right. Hey, that's pretty good. We'll take that every day of the week. All right, not a bad little recovery from there. All right, we've got our little recovery shot here. We're gonna land this kind of just at the front of the green. Everything's gonna bounce up and left, so, or up and right. So see if we can at least give ourselves a nice little putt at par. I like it. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Beauty. We can make that for par, let's go. All right, a little par putt. Not much in it. Firm left edge. All right, that's a bogey. I should probably look at them a little longer, but we're trying to keep it up here. We've got another video to film out here today, so we'll take our bogey. Still not a bad score from where our drive ended up. On to the next one. All right, we've got about a 240 yard par four here where the tees are today. This one's a lot of fun. Dad said this was a great one in high school because the hole is kind of buried back there up in the hill, up terrace next to that house. So we'll see if we can put one up there and give ourselves a nice little approach. Well, I'm gonna try to hit the, uh, the high draw forward here. So I don't think driver's the right play. So we'll see if we can get this one anywhere up there on the right hand side. Sounds like it's a lot better than left. So here we go. Well, it's not drawing, but it is staying right. It looks pretty good. Yeah, just a little short right there. Seems decent. Not too bad. Well, we got about 40 or so yards left here, maybe 35, but I'm gonna open this one up, see if we can hit a flop shot just past that sand trap, see if we can get one close to the hole. Time for some fun. No, it's short. Oh my God, that was horrible. <laughs> big risk reward. Well, that would be risk. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can get that out of there. The flop shot did not work out well. I used to be so much better at those in high school, but I also hit a 64 degree in high school to be fair. So, All right, let's see if we can get this one out of the bunker, up onto the green, give ourselves a look for par. Hit the stick. Oh, a little bit too much on that one, but a decent out. Yep, got a couple mounds to go over here. Tap those down a little bit, some anthills. Yeah, it does kind of break away quickly past the hole. Oh, yeah, it's pretty quick. Let's see if we can make that for bogey. All right, I like this bogey putt. It's a little firm uphiller. <laughs> I just don't make those putts. Well. That's okay, it's a double on a fairly easy hole. We've got a couple more holes to play here, and then we'll be out. Here we are at hole 15. 525 yard, par five. This is the hole of my friend, Jimmy Curran. If you're out there, buddy, I remember this. You hit your tee shot down route 302, and it bounced about 10 times. And then on the last bounce, it bounced back onto the golf course, <laughs> down by the green, a 525 yard drive. Insane. Uh, with a witness and the odds of that happening are pretty much a million to one. Yeah, especially today with all these cars. Yeah, I would not <laughs> recommend trying to hit it down Route 302. It may be frowned upon by the <laughs> drivers who are out here. Uh, right. But it is a really fun par five. There is a ditch going across there and the ditch is probably about uh, 235, 240 to carry. If you carry it, you get an easy uh, opportunity to get home in two. If you go in the ditch, well, then you got big problems. Yep. All right, let's go. Well, I think I'm gonna try the high draw here. Start it out over on the right-hand side, let it fade back or draw back a little bit. Hopefully you get one in the fairway. Oh, it's money. That's the best drive of the day. Right down the pipe. 
I saw it bounce. We'll see if it cleared the ditch. Oh, it did. That was a center of the club face smack -a rooney right there. That was a 260 carry. Hopefully it's over the ditch and I am right. All right, we did in fact clear the ditch as promised, which is great. So I've got the forward in hand now. See if we can just go for this par five. At least get something down by the green. Keep it out of the road. Fading a little right. Not bad though. Yeah, probably just about pin high right. We'll take that. Nicely done. Trying to make a birdie here. You guys seen one of those on the channel before? It's called a birdie. It's when you go under par on a hole. It's crazy. All right, we were in fact pin high with that forward, which is nice. So if we can get this on the green, we can have a nice little putt for birdie. So let's try to flip this one up there and give ourselves a look. That is okay. It's not the best result. I thought it might tumble a little bit more from that rough, but we'll take it. It's a birdie look. A little bit of right to left on this one. Not too much though. We'll pretty much just go outside the edge in this nice autumn sun and see if maybe I can get a birdie for you guys. Turn. Oh, that was the line, but it actually moved right at the end. I think it was right to left at the beginning, then left to right at the end. So we will tap in for a par. There we go. All right, a couple holes left to play here. Drivable par four come up next. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. Hole 16 here is an uphill 265 yard par four. We'll give it a whack with the driver. If we hit the same drive we did on the last hole here, we'll be in business. Let's give it a go. Oh, I opened my face so much for that. That is gone. I impacted like this. Well, we'll see if we can find that one. Well, we couldn't find my ball down here in the swamp. We found a couple other balls, but we'll save the ball hunting video for another week. That one's coming later. So we'll take our drop here anyway. This is really running away. I got to land this super high up on the right and hopefully it just trickles on, but this will be tough to get anywhere close. It's about as good as I can do. Could have gone a little higher with it, but I mean, that's a pretty good result. I got that for par, so not the worst thing to have. Still rolling. It's going to go off the green. Stop! Well, we got this giant crater in my line, so let's go ahead and get that fixed up here. There we go. I didn't bring my putter, so we got dad's putter here. I don't think it's gonna make a difference with the way I've been putting today, so we'd love to just leave this up by the hole for a little tap-in bogey. Get! Ugh, a little short. That's gonna be a dicey one. It's gonna be a snake. Well, let's see if we can just drip this one in here. Just outside the right edge. Make a smooth stroke. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we will take our bogey and get out of here with that drop on this hole. Two holes to play. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Shading the ball, I'll do it for Shading you. Shading the ball. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Aw. We got about a 300 yard par four here. You guys can just about see the top of the flag chilling right about there. So it's 300 from here. These are the white tees. I don't exactly feel like playing the blue tees on this hole, so. I think we'll play it up here by the whites, make it a little bit more fun for us today. Let's rack a driver. All right, let's get that high draw again. This is a really good looking hole for a draw. So let's see if we can lay into this one a little bit. Oh, it's really good. That's heading right at it. Well, we'll see. I couldn't hit a drive much better than that. That was absolutely piped. Yeah, really good drive here. Dead center of the fairway. Got about like a 45 yard or something to go. Everything's bouncing right to left. So I think I just want to land this just onto the green up on the right side, let it feed back down. It's gonna to be tough to get this one close because we're kind of short-sided here, but we'll give it a go. I like that. Oh, I needed another couple of yards. It seemed like a really good shot. That was right where I was wanting to put it, but just a hair short. Big right to left are here, running away from us. This is for birdie though. So I'd like to give this one a chance. That's off the green. Yeah. Kind of expected a little more out of this rough. I should start pacing these out so I know exactly how far these putts are. That would be more helpful to me. Then I might start making some. Well, now we've got this left to righter coming back up for par here. We know the brakes. We went past the hole with it. So we've already got the answers. Let's pass the test. Oh, I thought that was going to be a little bit better. Next hole, let's go. People say foliage because they can't say foliage. 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 People say foliage. Well, we got some beautiful foliage here on this last hole here. Hole 18, about 360 yards back uphill. Nice leaves in the background there. Beautiful course. 
Sad to see it go if it doesn't come back next year, but at least we've done our part to document it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video here today. Let's give it one more send on this hole. Little toe in right, just over the tree. Oh, I see it down, we should be okay. Kind of boxed out here, can't really see much. I've got a six iron here just to try to keep it low as possible, but we're not gonna run up much, so just see if we can get something towards the green without hitting these trees. It's decent. I think I got a little bit much of it though, it's probably gonna go over the back. Okay, we can work with that though, I think. Not bad. All right, we've got a chance to be up and down for par here after all that somehow. It'd be nice to get a par on the last hole. It'd be even nicer if I got a birdie, but this is a pretty tricky chip. Should have taken it a lot higher than that, but that's what we got left for par. Big swing and left to righter here for par on the last hole. We gotta take this one high and outside. See if we can drip it back in. Get there! Oh, just a hair short. All right, let's tap that guy in and then outro this video. Bada bing. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode here on Muskrat Links. Big shout out to Kim and her family here at Bethlehem Country Club. I'm glad I got to share this course with you guys. It's an absolutely beautiful New Hampshire golf course. It's gonna be a shame to lose it, but hey, part of the process here is documenting it for future generations. Maybe I'll be able to recreate it somehow on the simulator on TGC 2019. So you might see this course again soon. And actually you might see it very soon because we've got a few hours of daylight here left. I think we're gonna do some ball hunting. So stay tuned for that video. But guys, like I said, make sure to subscribe. Join the Muskrat Lynx golf team here. But I think that's gonna be it for me. Have fun out there, everyone.